cliche. G'day folks and welcome to my next episode of Carrot Tops Survival Let's Play with a twist of achievement hunter. Chicken. Can I help you? I didn't think so. So when I left you last, um, I had a bit of technical difficulties. I got to place my chest down there, which unloaded some pretties. A little bit of gunpowder. Um, but yeah, it, it kind of went a bit poo, so um, I had a moment to place a lovely little parquet floor from the birchwood, which does look like oak. Unfortunately, it's not uh, even in vanilla. It's it's identical to uh, to oak, but it's still pretty. It's still... Do you agree? Do, do you agree? I... But... Really? Fine. Uh, and I also did start digging down to my own little personal entrance to a mine there. Clearly not too far. But today's episode, I believe... Hello, zombies. Zombies. It comes at night time. Why do I always start these, these things at night? I believe today I'm going to concentrate on a chicken farm. Because it is the easiest. I'm also going to do some mining. I'm not sure what achievements I'm going to get today because I am still determined to not look at the achievement map. Shut up. I'm, I'm, I'm talking here. Do you really have to interrupt? I guess he does. So that's what I'm up for today, folks. Uh, I should really place my bed back down um, and have a little bit of a schnooze. And... Um, Let's do that, and we'll see you in the morning. <coughs> okay. Okay, it's morning. And they burn, baby, burn. I do have full intentions of clearing out that birch around there, but keeping the saplings so I can keep this beautiful new biome of the birch forest thriving. Oh, he despawned. I could have easily... Shush. Nobody asked your opinion. I could have gone and got him. So let's actually... Door issues. I, I do seem to have door issues. Let's see if there's anything left around. If it... Oh, some skellies. Some skellies. Ha ha. You were slightly burned, I reckon. This one's going to whack me at least once. Or not. Oh, there it goes. No, oh, I was hoping for some bonies. That's alright. So I'm going to clear out this section here. I'm not sure what I'm going to put here, but the farm section I'm going to have. I do have the pond over here. Where is it? There it is. So remember, over there, approximately, is where I spawned. So this is a little pond of some sort. But I'm going to flatten out this area a bit more, clear all these trees. Keep the birch forest over there, but clear all these. And that wet area over there will be the leads to my farm. I think this over here will be the starts of my uh, wheat farm because it's closer to my home so it will grow when I'm at home because uh, I'm in the chonk. But this watery area over here may not be so chunky so um, I might not have as much luck. So I'm going to leave you um, for the moment. Hopefully bring another... Yeah, I know. I, I killed your friends and... Is that... Is that... Lava? Is that... Ah, oh, it must be under me here somewhere. That's alright. That would have been useful though. So I've got all these little wet areas here. This will be... This will definitely be the farm. I'll start clearing some of this area away. And I will come back... Whence this is done. So that is one day's work as the sun sets. So the sun was rising, as you saw, legit one day. Turn around and bam, I have here the, uh, let me get them saplings. I ain't going to waste them saplings. Uh, ready to go, little cobbly area with some staircase up to the six, eight pieces of cobble that I actually did here have. Uh, did he have? I did you have in my possession? Ah, uh, what 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 a sunset! To open your front door to going down to your big big ass farm. Going down there, so yeah, I'm gonna be pretty impressed with that. Had to obviously like you can see the the 
the bare dirt over there. I had to terraform a tad. Uh, but yeah, I think I think this is actually going to be slightly picturesque. One goal is to head in that direction, folks, past the uh, the birch forest in that direction and see what it has to offer because as I mentioned this way um, past the birches there is extreme hills hello Chico and this way minus that hole in the ground that is where I spawned over there in front of that co uh, that's not cobble that's gravel over that way so that is where I spawned looking at this way so um, with the sun setting in the west ah over the beautiful flat land in the Minecraft universe. We'll see you tomorrow. And I'm bringing you back now because I did, while I was going to go to sleep and then just come back of oh, the daytime, this, this is the bottom of my uh, my little self-made mine shaft. Um, and I did come across the coal, as you saw just then, but this is my first iron deposit just here. So I had to do a little bit of a Yay to me. One, two, and three. Oh, four, five. I see six up there. I see six up there. There it is. Yay. So there we are. Six pieces of iron ore. Uh, not so exciting to pro Minecrafters, but uh, to me, you know what? I'm pretty impressed with myself. So I'm going to fill in this hole and continue digging down. Um, the only reason I came down was because I was short on cobble, so that was a bit of a bonus. Um, and I shall continue, pretend pretend that it's all a dream. It's all a dream. And I will see you when the sun rises. And you try and go to sleep one night. I <laughs> look at a burn, baby, burn. Uh, and there's a spider on your roof. I mean, I know I live in Australia and we've got the most venomous things and ferocious things and vicious things and this that and the other you know what it's actually not that scary I'm 34 and I'm still alive got bitten on the face by a white tail last year guys google white tail or white tip spiders oh, a trio of creepers you know what white tip spider is actually scarier than any creeper and I got bitten on the face in my sleep and I'm okay. So having a, having a Minecraft spider on my roof, disturbing my slumber, a little irritating, because I'm bigger than that. I'm tougher than that. So I did uh, that uh, that uh, sex tuplet of iron that I got last night. Is that even right? There we go. Let's get some in there. I've got some 6 XP at the moment from doing pretty much nothing. That might be just from the coal that I found here, there, and everywhere. But uh, let's see if... Yay! I thought so. Acquire hardware. So there we go. This is achievement number... <sighs> Stick it in the comments. I don't know. Maybe there were six very quickly and then I got the Monster Hunter and and the upgrade. That's eight. Is this number nine? Achievement number nine in the second day? I don't know. Am I, am I allowed to be impressed with myself about that? Impressed, yes. Egotistical, no. <laughs> so here we go with um, day number whatever. I've cleared out that area. I've gotten myself some extra cobble. Actually, I should create the stairs that I want to create to get down to my little farming area. How many am I going to need? Maybe three sets should do me. Uh, and whack that down there. I'm not going to bother with that those chicken eggs just yet. It looks slightly overcast. Is it just me? Is it just me? Should I go and... Should I? Should I? Look, one, one's, one's coming at me, bro. Hello, Mr. Creeper. Don't blow up my house. Don't blow up my house. It'll be one of my precious birches that stops my... Oh, there we go. Not so scary. Not so scary. I'll tell you what, I used to be so afraid of even thinking about fighting the creepers. But, ah, oh, noob. Noob move. There's only so much I can blame on my mouse, really. It is It is a, a pretty cheap one. But, ah, oh, ah, oh, and that too. Look at that. Uh, so yes, as I've mentioned, this area will be for the farming. 
um, it's going to be it's going to be pretty impressive, I reckon. That's a nice little flat uh, flat piece of land, and we are still it is still in the birch forest. Let's move a little bit further. Make sure we have sword in hand. Uh, there we go. So I'm officially on the plains biome. Oh, look at that goodies and chicos. I'm not. Oh, goodies. There's goodies everywhere. So I think this this actually might uh, might come to an end for episode two, albeit boring, but just maybe more explaining the fact that I did have some technical difficulties, and and I am a noob. I love being a noob because it explains so much.